Alamosaurus was a massive herbivore with a prolonged neck and tail, and relatively long limbs. Its body was partly covered in bony armor. Most of this dinosaur's remains come from smaller juvenile specimens. However, a few fragmentary remains suggest that adult Alamosaurus could have grown to colossal sizes comparable to dinosaurs like Argentinosaurus, a dinosaur that has an estimated weight of 73 tons. Lamosaurus is estimated at 98 feet long. The paleontologist Scott Hartman estimates that Lamosaurus was a bit longer, at 92 to 100 feet long, and is as heavy as other giant titanosaurs. Scott Hartman also says that scientists aren't completely sure on whether the gigantic tibia, which he used to estimate Lamosaurus's size, belongs to Lamosaurus or a new species of sauropod. Lamosaurus roamed the Earth 72 to 66 million years ago and died out in the late Cretaceous. Its fossils have been discovered throughout the southwestern region of the United States. It lived in woodlands in North America and according to an analysis, there may have been 350,000 of these enormous sauropods living in Texas at a given time. Lamosaurus was named after the Ojo Alamo Formation in New Mexico, where some of its bones have been found. The first fossils of Alamosaurus were found by Charles W. Gilmore in 1922. He found a pelvic bone and a shoulder bone. Later in 1946, Gilmore found more bone fragments attributed to Alamosaurus. They were fragments of the tail, a bone forming the base of each half of the pelvis and the right limb. Alamosaurus lived along dinosaurs such as Taurosaurus, Critosaurus, and Tyrannosaurus. As to how Alamosaurus came to live in the United States at the end of the Cretaceous is a question that has confused scientists for a long time, as it is thought that most sauropods died out at the end of the Jurassic. Well, that's all we have for this video. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to the channel, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.